And we're back in the game with some more called Warhammer, beginning of the end times, playing as Britonia. Right, last episode we finally captured Morgair Fortress, didn't we? And we're going to see if Chaos keeps spawning units up there in Norska. Because we don't believe they should. Now, we got some troops here, here and here. We got a ship there. Alright, did we destroy the buildings? We need to, yes. We got an agent, he must be a spy, right? Two spies, let's get one up here. You have even more movement. Ostland is doing some good work up here. Do we have another spy coming? I have a feeling that we had a spy that we were moving. There's one. See if we can get through there. Yep. Looks like there's still a good amount of uh, rebel settlements out here. Right. Now, this is our fleet that we're sending over here, and we'll probably get mostly destroyed. But, we also have a ship there. Okay. We can send you over here as well. Now, extra units. There's two. And we have an extra general. Right, we've got 42,000. Let's go ahead and use that to the best of our ability. Looks like we're building. All these settlements. Okay. We'll merge up there. We've already done that. I mean, they are very useful and we probably will get some of them soon enough. Should be able to do some naval invasions, get over here and attack these settlements, but they are very heavily defended, aren't they? There's another one out there, a Nurgle settlement. Okay. We've got a full stack there though. Let's get those moving. So to get you coming down. There's an army. Everyone's recruiting around here, looks like. Yep, there's trolls in that army. Okay, you can get some units over to help him. Right. In fact, can you get some units? Looks like I'll be able to reach him. Let's build up a whole stack. Four more units. You've got room for three, four. Get those units in. Merge up. Well, it'll give us an extra general. So you can come back and build up another army. Now that's probably an armor upgrade for all of those. We are getting some good money from our merchants up in Norska. There's some good resources up there. There's some elven ruins, quite a few different types of mines. Tomb kings and night goblins at the war. My elves, my relations are poor, as expected. 
Right. Ooh, Jukai. We might be able to take those out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what have we discovered there? Ooh, coming down and fighting the uh, vampires is not going to be fun. I don't think we need to do that though. Okay. Yeah, they pulled back there. Looks like they're going to try and pull back because they've only got one settlement now at Middenheim. So. We'll see. We've got a heretic there. Try to kill him. And we did. Right. Get your army organized. How happy are you going to be if we take out those units? Oh, you can get away with that. That's a full stack. They might go all the way out and leave us alone. We've got a good choke point there against the Slanesh. To our construction, suit a home. Ah, that gives the field trip shape very close to our front line. I'm going to start putting some economic buildings back here. I'll put in the road network. Right, just carry on retraining. I'm assuming we have a spy in here already. Yep. There's some Nurgles. Alright, let's take a look at diplomacy. Okay. Chaos. Click on them. They don't have any allies, oddly enough. Corn, you don't have any allies, and you are at war with Nurgle and uh, Slanesh and the Lizardmen. Nurgle, you don't have any allies, you're at war with Corn and Slanesh and Night Goblins. So that benefits us. Slanesh, you don't have allies, you're at war with Chaos Undivided. Now, uh, Corn and Nurgle. Right, we did destroy Zinch, didn't we? Yeah. And our victory conditions are to take out Nurgle, Slanesh, Skaven would be the problem. Right. So basically we need to occupy this pink zone up here, and this green zone, and red zone over here, and then go after the uh, Skaven who are still holding on down south, despite being in wars with many, many people. Now, didn't we have two, yeah, we had two generals. There's another one. Do they have troops? Nope, they don't have troops, and they don't have troops. So, we should be able to make some good progress now. Our men are yours, Seigneur. 
Right, take all the units that are full strength. So we've got two forces here. Uh, you're not close enough to take them out. All right. We'll consolidate these units. Is that general? It is. Or well, no. It's a merchant. Yeah, you could still do with another general. Not here. You're at full strength. Training none. Okay. I mean, do we just let them leave our territory whilst we go after Slanesh or not? We try to wipe them out. Okay, they've got that blasted. Zinch Lord of Change. Well, we don't have to fight them. They may come after us. Uh, you don't have any trebuchets. Don't you have any trebuchets? No. Nope. That's what we need up in there. Okay. Nope. We could wipe them out, that would be a quick battle. You've got the uh, trebuchets, so we'll go in with you. We might as well try to kill as much chaos as possible. We'll probably have a couple of episodes of consolidation and building up some armies up there in northern Norska and sailing them around. Might need a few extra ships. See if we've got a good place to deploy the trebuchets. Well, here's the actual front. Will it allow us to deploy? Nope, it's going to be one of those weird ones. I mean, that would be a great place to deploy them. More of them. Oh, we've got two in there. Didn't even look to see if they had any cavalry or not. Alright, spearmen. Don't have that much infantry, do we? It's very limited. Nope, we've got another spare unit. We'll keep somebody up here to defend these. 
um, missile cav and deploy it. Some heavy cav. I think we'll put our general there. And we've got three light cavalry. We've got plenty of room to maneuver out over here. There. Our reinforcements, unfortunately, are coming from up here. If they even come in, you don't always. Ah, I forgot to move those, didn't I? Lost it. Not good. That, you might not even get anywhere near to being able to fire. Wonder if we'll get an incredibly lucky shot in on the Zinch Lord of Change. If you watched the last episode, you'll know how much damage they can do. Right. Let's get you up there. We can move surprisingly fast. Are you still moving? You don't want to move, do you? Well, we're going to have to. Well, first, our reinforcements are in fact coming in very, very fast. Although he almost killed himself on there. But we are going to have to, looks like, redeploy our infantry. Get them up here. Yep, get up there. Got minotaurs here. We definitely deployed in the wrong place. Gonna lose those expensive uh, trebuchets. Right. We've got a charge in. Don't know if it's any good. Where's our heavy cab? Fighting there. Let's pull back those. I mean, their army isn't that big. But unfortunately, we're split up. They actually had a unit down here. I see we've got the Zinch Lord of Change firing down. Well, we have killed 38% of our army. Despite being split up, now it does look very weird. Is that the? Uh, oh, that's the trolls. No, that's minotaurs. Can we even get up here? I think we might get shot by our own artillery. Come on, get up here. 
Those are just very light troops. Yay! Dark light cavalry up. Wherever our general is, he's almost dead. Dead from something. Something's killing him off. Who's holding us up? Chaos trolls. Your ammunition is gone. Can you really not break through? So there's probably anyone we could pick off. We've only got three men left. Who's running through there? Nope, those marauders are broken. You chase them. Oh, that's our ally. He's down to five men in his bodyguard unit. No, I definitely told you to go over there. Right, who are you in melee with? Minotaurs. Right. See if we can get these other archers up here. See if we can sneak some of that infantry past. We've got 65% of them. Still not amazing. Get away from there. Well, they're pulling back. Fire on that unit. Not the enemy general's dead. Now yeah, shaken. No, the Zinch Lord is still with us, unfortunately. No, just fire. Are the Minotaurs broken? They are.
All right, where's your equipment? Get back on there. You're still fighting, but they have broken, so get back on that. All right, finally turning towards us. We've got the big birds we've got to deal with. We can actually find them. There he is, big bird one. This is a whole sign. Pain to deal with. Can literally defeat entire armies on themselves by themselves. We still chasing units? Yep. Chase those trolls. Right. Why can't you go after the uh, Minotaurs? Are they already off the battlefield? They are. Shoot that big bird. Listen to his footprints. Sounds like something from Jurassic Park. We got him. We got the big bird. The big bird is down. Well, let's have you stop firing. Run down those units. You can go in melee mode and chase them down. As our general act. Well, it's a victory. It was close there for a while. Well, we lost a thousand men. Actually, very close in numbers. But that's one less enemy army in our territory, so they won't be causing any devastation. Ugh. That didn't sound pleasant. Alright, still got all of our units, all of our trebuchets. Uh, we did lose. We lost him. Uh, that was costly, but we got a man of the hour event. Alright. Take those. Merge up. Take those full units. Merge up there. So, can we get any new generals? We're going through generals pretty darn quickly. Yes. We'll have a lot more money coming in. Uh, four turns from there. Can't get generals everywhere. There we can. That's an extra three. Right. So, we've got a partial army here. By the time he gets here, it'll be a full army. Got full army here. Full army there. And at least two there. We uh, actually merge up those units, plus those. It's close between five and six armies. We could get them all over here. We could take out this one and then head on over here because we can get across in one turn. Right, we'll see what happens in the next episode.
So until then, take care.